Hello, I'm Will with Will's Reviews, and today I've got a great recipe for creamed corn with a twist for you. As always, I'll walk you through the steps, which in this case there aren't very many of, and then I'll list the whole recipe in the description below. I say this recipe has a twist because a couple of years ago I found out there are different ways to do this. In the beginning, I only used this recipe in the summertime when there was fresh corn in the grocery stores. Uh, a few years ago, it was winter, like it is right now, it's late November here, um, I tried frozen corn because there was no fresh corn and I was amazed at the results. So I'm calling this the bachelor's hack. We're going to use frozen corn and I'll, I'll hope you'll try it because it turns out really, really well and it's a recipe that deserves to be in your recipe box. When I got this recipe out the other day, I noticed that there was a good story that, that went with this. When somebody gives me a recipe, you know, I write down the name of the person that gave it to me, the date, in this case it was November of 2010, um, all the ingredients and the steps, and then anything else that's related to this recipe. Well, I first tried this recipe, or I first tasted this recipe, in a deer camp in West Tennessee, like I said, November of 2010. One of the hunters made it one night for dinner, and it was love at first bite. I was just totally wowed by this recipe. So the next day, we all go out hunting. Her grandson kills a deer and then refuses to clean it, which is a big deal in deer camps. Out of nowhere, my 15-year-old daughter, who's never cleaned a deer in her life, volunteers to do it for him. So, um, in exchange, she gave me this recipe to say thanks. So, good story, good memory, proud dad, I digress. We'll move to the kitchen and I'll show you how to do this. We're in the kitchen and I've got all my ingredients ready. I went ahead and fried the bacon. I didn't show you that because everybody knows how to fry bacon. I've diced my onions and I just wanted to give you some thoughts. Um, this recipe calls for sauteing onions for three minutes. As I've told you in my other videos, I cook my onions a lot longer than that. I, I like them to be a bit brown, so these will go longer than that. The other thing that came to mind is that I'm calling this a bachelor's hack because I'm taking some shortcuts. Well, I got married late in life, and as I'm making this recipe, it's dawned on me that a lot of my cooking methods are based on my bachelor's life. So, for example, I fried the four strips of bacon that this recipe calls for, and then it wants you to saute the onions in butter. Well, I've got a cast iron skillet full of great bacon grease. Why would I want to pour that off? So I spooned about half of it off, added some butter, and then now I'm doing my onions. The other thing that dawned on me is that the recipe calls for four cups of corn. Well, eight ounces to a cup, that's 32 ounces. Wouldn't you know that frozen corn comes in 15 ounce bags? And I'm not going to buy three bags and then waste half of the third one. So we just have 30 ounces of white corn. So I'm going to keep cooking this and then I'll come back when we're ready to add the next ingredients. Okay, this is how I like my onions to look. And it's taken, I don't know, five or six minutes instead of the three that were in the recipe. So now I'm going to add my frozen corn. The recipe says add the corn and then continue to cook for one to two minutes. I assume they're talking about fresh corn, not frozen. So as I add this, I'm probably just, I don't know, four or five minutes until it all looks tender. So here goes. I'll stir this, cook it for about five minutes, and then show you the next step. Okay, it's been about five minutes and the corn is nice and tender, so I'm going to go to the next step 
Um, had a couple of more thoughts for you. One is use a large skillet. This is, I think, a 13-inch skillet, but there is a lot of corn in here. So if you start with something small, you're going to run into problems. The other thing that I think is probably pretty obvious to you now is that when it comes to recipes, I don't consider them rules. They're more like guidelines and suggestions. So play with them, add different things, tweak them, and you'll have a lot more fun in the kitchen. So now I'm going to add cream, chicken bouillon, I like better than bouillon, bacon, and some pepper. So I'm going to stir this and cook it for, it says five to seven minutes until it thickens up a bit. And then we'll go to the final step, which is going to be to add the Parmesan cheese and parsley. So I'll be back. Okay, it's been about, I don't know, seven or eight minutes. And now I'm ready for the final step, which is to add Parmesan cheese and parsley. Since this is a bachelor's hack, I'm going to go ahead and admit to you that my grated Parmesan is out of the bottle like you would use to put on your spaghetti. I'm sure the real thing would be better. Um, the parsley, I use dried parsley because we've got a ton of it in our cabinet. So um, I'm sure the, the hardcore chefs have already abandoned this video, so that won't matter. So I'm going to mix this in and again cook it for a few more minutes and that is it. I'll show you the final version when it's ready. Here's the final product and the whole kitchen smells just absolutely wonderful. So if you've made it this far in the video with me, I'm very, very grateful. Thank you. and. I hope you'll subscribe and tell a friend. So my goal is a thousand subscribers and right now I think I'm at 27. So thanks very much for watching and take care.